Hi everybody again, I'm Dr. Bill Sterrett and we're going to have this uh, next series of, uh, of uh, videos talk about the female ACL or women's ACL injuries. Uh, I've been fortunate to be the uh, head ski team physician for the U.S. Women's Alpine team for about the last 17-18 years, so uh, fortunately or unfortunately I've had a lot of experience with this. Uh, we're here in uh, sunny Southern California, I'm doing a little work at a, uh, at a uh, gym here or a uh, track. Um, and it's just beautiful out here, although you can hear it's a little bit windy. Anyway, let's talk about the women's ACL. There are reasons that we hear so much about this. In some sports, women are four and five times more likely to tear their ACL than guys. So women's basketball, women's volleyball, women's recreational skiing, four and five times higher injury rate to their knees than their male counterparts. In the World Cup uh, level that I mostly deal in, the women and men are, are about equal because they're both hard charging and, and going so fast. Uh, but in a lot of these uh, competitive sports, especially even recreational skiing, uh, four and five times higher injury rates. So you're gonna see some of your friends, maybe even you, unfortunately have uh, uh, sustained an injury to your anterior cruciate ligament. Now, there's anatomical reasons, there's sports reasons uh, why women might tear their ACL more frequently. This video, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the anatomy of the women and, uh, and why their ACL is at higher risk. So first, I thought I'd show you a little bit about this knee. And you can see this is a right knee. Women are born a little bit more knock kneed meaning they're a little bit valgus. So you can see that. Uh, this is the inner side of the knee. This is the outer side of the knee. So when they're built a little bit more knock kneed from the bony architecture of the joint, that puts this ACL that we've seen so much over the last few videos at risk. So this ligament is already on stretch just because of the anatomy and the way they're built. The second thing we see so much of is women are a little bit more hyperlax, or they're loose, more loose jointed than their male counterparts. What that means to us is that their elbows hyperextend, shoulders are easier to dislocate, even kneecaps uh, can pop out a joint with less trauma. What I see in my practice is these knees that hyperextend. So most of us, the knee, you can see it bends like this. That can come out straight in uh, you or I. Some of the women we see in the office, they'll hyperextend by 20, 25 degrees, and that's just their normal. That's not injured or anything else. That, as you can imagine, going into that much hyperextension will put this little ligament, that little band of tissue, at risk. So the two things we see anatomically are being born a little bit more knock need and that hyperlaxity or, or uh, congenital uh, hyper, well, just increase uh, translation, increase motion, uh, which for the most part is a good thing. Unfortunately, it puts our ligaments at risk. So thanks for paying attention. Two little uh, bullet points to take home with you about women might be at a little higher risk. Uh, I'm Dr. Bill Starrett. This is your Sports Medicine Minute.